Hey there golfers, Drew Mulhold here at TaylorMade Kingdom, joined by Thomas Campbell. Today we got a chance to check out the TaylorMade Sim products, new for 2020, uh, from driver down to the irons. We got to hit uh, you know a few shots with every model. And starting with the driver, Thomas, I know the first thing I noticed right away was the look. Um, they kind of, you know, they included that gray uh, kind of carbon crown that's been there from you know the M series. And they also brought in some white, which was kind of uh, sort of the revolutionary idea that um, they brought in with the R11, so I like that quite a bit. I think that's a great look at a dress and something I can confidently look at. Yeah, they kind of incorporated that kind of the M2 versus with M4, M, M, M5, kind of that white and gray look all combined together, yep. which I really, really liked. I really liked the fact that, you know, sometimes I thought the driver was maybe a little too white in past years or maybe yeah. it's a little, little too gray, but I just like, it's just much more easier on the eye. Yeah. Looking down at the two, two I got the chance to hit the, uh, the Sim and the Sim Max. No, I hit the Sim first, then I hit the Sim Max. I really didn't notice a difference in look looking down at it. It almost looked the exact same. I had to really, really look closely to maybe see that yeah. Sim Max maybe looking ever so slightly larger. But I think that's, that's a great thing to, to know that essentially those two clubs look very, very similar um, looking down at. One thing I was very interested in noticing was the V-Steel on the sole of the Fairy Woods. Yep. Um, as you kind of transition now from driver to Fairy Woods, uh, V-Steel was made popular right away in the mid-2000s with TaylorMade. Uh, and they brought it back to kind of improve that turf interaction. I thought it was it was e excellent, really. On um, miss hits, center hits, I thought the turf interaction was never really an issue, um, which it maybe has been in the past, especially when you get kind of adjustable weights on the sole and they kind of removed that part. So uh, I don't know if you agree with me on the V-Steel. V-Steel for the win. I played around with the Fairywood and the hybrid of putting the ball in, in some divots and some little tougher lies to hit out of and I had excellent contact. It was awesome. I really don't think I lost any distance when I was trying to hit it out of, out of that turf. Moving into the irons, I know the big play for TaylorMade is the feel aspect. And I, I, you know, I, it really does feel like a forged iron with that speed bridge in the back, that technology bridging kind of the, the, the top line with uh, the sole a little bit there. Really, I thought it, it worked. Yeah, it really felt like I was hitting a P790, which you know, I was really working hard to really figure out what it really felt like and what it really looked like. You know, it definitely, obviously wasn't a fully forged iron, but at the same time, it felt like it had a little soft, more softness to it, a little better feel, a little better turf interaction. I, I really liked it. You know, I hit the Max uh, OS. Um, mm -hmm. that, that one, you know, a little bit more game improvement iron, but at the same time, it still didn't feel like it was harsh and clicky off the club yeah. base. Yeah, I think it's, you know, the Sim Max and Sim Max OS irons, you know, they're kind of more of a game improvement and super game improvement model versus in the past, maybe the last year, the M5 was kind of closer to the player's distance category, but I really do think they did a good job of giving you a kind of game improvement option and then also that super game improvement um, design a little bit with the Max OS and then kind of letting that P790 sort of be their go-to sort of player's distance model as well. So, uh, I, I mean, down across the board, TaylorMade uh, with the Sim 2020 products, great stuff all across the board. You're gonna get your distance, you're gonna get your ball speed, you're gonna get your forgiveness and really the aerodynamic shaping as well of those woods um, is really a big play as well with that inertia generator in the back. So great option from TaylorMade in 2020. 